If you're feeling like your life has gotten a little bit boring and you are ready to finally break your routine, stay tuned because that's exactly what we'll be talking about today. Welcome to another video. For those of you who are new here, my name is Nina and I'm a life coach that specializes in personal development. Here at this channel, we talk about everything having to do with self-growth and living our most awesome life possible. So if you aren't already a subscriber, please take a moment and become one because we definitely want you to be part of our family. So every once in a while we get to a point in our life where we feel like it's a little bit boring, a little bit stale, we're kind of doing the same things over and over again, we're feeling uninspired and we are ready for a change. So today we're going to talk about eight different things that we can do to help us finally break our routine. The first thing that we can do is every single day try to talk to at least one new person. Start a conversation with someone that you would not normally engage with. We get into kind of a rut of talking to the same people again and again, which is fine. There are oftentimes people that we love and we trust, but we can really expand our horizons and keep things interesting by getting the point of view of somebody completely different. I understand that it can give us a degree of social anxiety or feel a little bit awkward to talk to people that we're not really familiar with, but the more we put it into practice, the more it becomes a habit and the easier it becomes. I noticed for myself that some of the most stimulating conversations that I've ever have have taken place with either strangers or people that I am meeting for the very first time. So challenge yourself to try to do that at least one time per day. Number two is to stop doing things that don't add any value to your life, or at least take a break from the things that don't add value to your life. So some of those things might include television or social media or things that you're not really even fully engaging with that are just wasting your time. So when we are wasting time, we're taking away from time that we would have to have opportunities to do things that are stimulating and fun and interesting for us being consciously aware really how much time we're actually spending doing these kind of useless activities is something that is really going to propel us to change. So you can get some kind of tracker or you can just start to become a little more aware of exactly how much time you're really spending just aimlessly scrolling through your phone or watching television shows that you don't really care about. So that does not mean that you need to give up social media or television altogether if it is something that you really enjoy and that you are really focused on when you're actually doing those tasks but if it's something that is really not adding value to your life why spend any time at all doing them number three is to rearrange your furniture and change any parts of your external environment that you can so I know for me it makes a huge difference I feel like I'm living in a whole new home when my furniture is a little bit different even just changing one thing out like changing a painting in your room or adding some flowers but anything you can change in your own physical environment is going to help and and make you feel a lot more passion for life again and really stimulate your brain. Number four is to explore. You definitely need to be getting out, doing new things and going to new places. So one cool thing that you can try is to get in your car and to drive somewhere with no particular destination. Make sure you're going on roads you're not as familiar with and going to places that you normally wouldn't because you never know what you're going to find. You could find a really interesting antique shop or a really interesting interesting new restaurant, but definitely try something out of the ordinary. And of course, you want to make sure that you are spending enough time outdoors. So there is nothing more refreshing and restorative than being in nature. So if that can be part of your adventure, that would be wonderful. Make sure you're also planning vacations and mini vacations, but give your eyes something new to see. Number five is to change up your look. Chances are you're probably even bored with your own self. And even if you don't like making big drastic changes, you can switch up things like your wardrobe or maybe your hair color or even just styling your hair in a different way. But any little change, again, just keeps us a little more interested in life. Number six is to make some kind of art. There are so many benefits to being creative. It really stimulates, again, our brain and it helps us to think of things in a whole new way. Creativity actually even helps us with our self-esteem 
and allows us to express ourselves in a way that we can't really always do with our actual words. So take some time to make any kind of art that you like. It doesn't even have to be, you know, a painting or a drawing. It can be a piece of music or you could write a novel, but do something creative that really ignites your soul. Number seven is to learn something completely new. I say this on many different videos, but I definitely believe that we need to be lifelong learners and the more curious we can get about life, the more interested we can get about life, the more we're going to have life satisfaction. So make sure that you are reading, you're going to museums and seminars and listening to TED Talks. When we're not growing intellectually, there's no way we're going to stay interested in life. So we need to do anything possible to start learning new things, hearing new perspectives, and really gaining knowledge in any way possible. And the eighth tip for breaking our routine is to have an entire day devoted to self-indulgence and self-care. We often forget how important it really is to take care of ourselves and we start to feel a lot of burnout when we fail to do so. So if you can take a full day and if that full day isn't possible, even just a few hours to really just pamper yourself, take care of yourself, do the things that you don't usually give yourself permission to do. You are definitely going to feel more rejuvenated and you're going to thank yourself because we really need these times to slow down and take care of ourselves. So there you have it, eight different ways that you can break your routine to start getting more stimulation and excitement out of your life again. So I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please like it and share it with someone else who may need to hear this message today. Also, again, if you aren't already a subscriber, please take a moment and become one. We definitely want you to be part of the family, and I thank you so much for spending time with me today. I will see you soon, and I hope you have an extraordinary day.